So this is the skull of a toothed whale, of a spotted dolphin. Toothed whales here um, using a fat pad that is located in their lower jaws and they can receive sound waves through this opening here and via vibration of a very thin bone on the outside of the lower jaws and sound waves get then transmitted via the fat pad to the ear region. You have two groups of modern whales, the mysticetes that are the baleen whales and the odontocetes that are the toothed whales and the baleen whales um, have symmetrical skulls and the toothed whales have asymmetrical skulls. The toothed whales use echolocation to navigate and to find prey and they have certain structures in uh, the nasal complex that allow them to do that. Um, so it was commonly assumed that asymmetry evolved with echolocation in odontocete whales. But now we found out that the archaeocetes, this is the group of whales that gave rise to both um, baleen and toothed whales, have asymmetrical skulls. And we think that asymmetry helped the archaeocete whales to figure out where underwater sounds came from that they heard. When I first came here, I wanted to study something completely different. Um, I wanted to study tooth form and function in archaeocete whales and, and how that changes over time during the evolution from a land mammal to a mammal that lives in the sea. When you look at modern whales today, um, the baleen whales, they filter feed and the toothed whales um, catch their prey and eat it whole or in big pieces. But archaeocete whales have certain tooth wear features on their teeth that show that they did chew their food. And I wanted to find out how they did it and what they were eating. As we created a three-dimensional digital, digital model of the skull of Basilosaurus from CT scans, and um, I wanted to measure the orientation of those wear features with regard to the skull. But we saw that the skull of Basilosaurus was asymmetrical. But like everybody else before us, we thought it was um, due to t deformation that had happened during fossilization. Re animal remains get buried, um, they get compressed, and they can get deformed. We created a three-dimensional digital model of the skull of Basilosaurus, and um, we saw that, that deformation, or what we thought was deformation, and we digitally straightened that model. And I wanted to align models of the lower jaws um, to the model of the cranium. Um, but I saw that um, the lower jaws would not occlude and the measurements that I had taken on the straightened model would just not make sense. And I got very frustrated with it and I stood right here in my office in front of this skull cast of Basilosaurus and I was pouting and I was looking at it, staring at it and uh, I was actually talking to it. Why on earth are you not symmetrical? And it took me probably a good quarter of an hour of staring until it finally dawned on me that it's maybe because you're not symmetrical. Archaeocetes do not show any evidence of structures that are related to echolocation, so we are very sure that they did not echolocate. So taken together, all of our findings mean that uh, asymmetry evolved much earlier in whale evolution than previously thought and that the initial asymmetry is not connected to echolocation but to directional hearing in water. And um, what I would like to study next is um, when asymmetry got lost in uh, the baleen whales and when they started to hear lower frequencies and how this is connected.